guys welcome back to my channel I have some bread sitting out and I'm gonna cheat and mix with some box stuffing but I'm making stuffing this year and um, I just thought I'd hop on and give you guys some you know Thanksgiving uh, sentiments that, you know just like to let you guys know what I am grateful for because there's so much, there's so, so much. And um, I think it's important to kind of take a personal inventory about, you know, what you're really grateful for at this time of year. And I know a lot of people um, have been affected by COVID and stuff and my heart goes out to you guys and I'm so, so sad for anyone who's dealing with um, any health issues for that matter I mean that is it's just never something um, that's fun to deal with oh I haven't turned that light on yet so I am super grateful for the fact that I have a beautiful wonderful home and I've been nesting so super hard uh, I moved my two um, both of these guys are like natural found reptiles here in Texas. And then I have my, my new paludarium here. And uh, I have three more reptiles over there. Well, one of them is an amphibian. And one of these guys is an amphibian as well. But, you know, us herp uh, lovers kind of just classify them all as reptiles. And then I have all my plants over here. And as you can see, Simon and Miss Pixie are just enjoying um, a lovely time in the sun, as they usually do. And I'm having my coffee. This is actually a coffee cup that a Redditor gave me years ago, and I still use it, so thank you for giving me this. Mmm. <laughs> Man, that's good coffee. I've been super into coffee lately. And, um, drinking too much of it, probably. <laughs> so in my last video, you guys got to see a peek at my backyard. There's always something amazing going on out there. So you can see right now, there's a squirrel eating. And there's also a finch. Here comes a finch on the water, and um, there's just always some amazing activity going on, and I love it so much. Um, getting back in touch with nature over the past couple months has been um, just overwhelmingly uh, good for my soul. Uh, I've been gardening since I was... 15 years old and uh, I just turned 39 so yeah I, I have a real love for plants and just you know doing doing all kinds of fun things especially in the winter time I, I really love um, doing this right here let me show you first I'll show you Mr. Sai Sai oh oh what a sweet magnificent creature Yes, he is. And then Miss Wu. Miss Pixie Wu right here. Oh, is she going to start her motor? Not yet. She's wondering why I'm filming her. <laughs> so, I force bulbs in the winter time, And in this container, I have some grape hyacinth, which is bolting. And I'm kind of sad because they probably won't even bloom. Uh, the ones that I planted outside are also doing the same thing because we're having such a warm fall, as someone else mentioned uh, on my post. And then these are um, uh, what's called a, a paper white narcissus. And I have two different varieties here. As you can tell, this one's going to be growing a little bit shorter. And I think this is the winter sun. And these two are the near. So this one is going to have the true daffodil uh, quality of it having a little yellow buttercup in the center of the flower which is really 
uh, just charming and beautiful to me. And then over here, I just have some uh, classic houseplant type thing. Oh, yeah, and also uh, this honker of an amaryllis down here. This is uh, just nymph. It's not a um, sub-nymph variety. It's just amaryllis nymph. And I'm extremely excited to see this particular one bloom. And this guy is another narcissist, but these are on gel. So because of the fact that they're not in dirt with miracle Grow and stuff in them like this, they're going to take a little bit slower, which is fine by me because then I'll have, you know, more of a bloom time. And then this is my new uh, Calathea or Calathea. I'm not sure how people say it, but I'm really glad that I saw somebody else's little cloud. I love this cloud. So it's giving my, you know, humid loving plants uh, life, basically. And then here is my absolutely gorgeous Japanese elm. Um, at first, I was really worried. <laughs> but I have finally started seeing, let me see if I can get any type of good view on this. There's some new growth here. Okay. There's some new budding growth here. Oh my gosh, focus. Biatch. Right there. You see that bud? Little bud? Whoa! Oh, they're so cute. So as I inspect more, I'm starting to see new little life spring out, but I was really worried at first because it was dropping a lot of leaves, but now it's it's actually doing okay. And then up here, I have uh, two different varieties of Chain of Hearts. And uh, I really love these. I know my hair is super wild right now. I cut my bangs and sometimes it does weird, weird ass stuff. Like this. <laughs> That's okay. It's all good. And I actually... Uh, used a dolphin china plate like this is real dolphin china and I'm just using it to kind of hide the ugliness at the bottom of this pot and I, I really like how it looks from like down here when I lay on the ground like this and just kind of like look out the window it's just such a beautiful view you know beautiful view <laughs> and um let's see what else was I gonna show you I know there was something it's probably this oh <clears throat> yeah this is what I'm starting for my little frog to go in his name is Superfly and he's climbing up the wall oh my goodness he's so freaking awesome I freaking love Superfly. Dude, he's the best. So that's Superfly. Um, Lemmy, I'm gonna stop this and switch it around so you can guys can see his detail because he's so dope. So this is Superfly. He is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, and his colors really seem to be coming so much better. He's a super active guy. He loves eating. He loves being fed. So next time I feed him, uh, let me know if you guys want to see. Because that would be cool, right? Do you guys want to see him being fed? He loves his little fruit flies. Look at that pattern. Like seriously? I can't. Oh my god. Okay. I totally should have shown like how many animals scattered out of here when I came out, but... I'll do that next time. But thank you guys for watching this little video. I so appreciate the time you take to spend with me and just enjoy life together. I am so, so grateful for all of you and the clean air I get to breathe and the clean water I get to drink and the good food I'm going to be making for my family and eating with my family tomorrow spending time with loved ones 
and connecting with them and discussing with them all of the things that we're grateful for for this year. So yeah, blessings to you and I wish you all the best in life and health and happiness. Mwah.